When storage units are abandoned in the great state of Texas, the treasures within. Today we're in Ponder, Texas. Hmm. Now Ponder is an eensy weensy teeny weeny little bitty town, so you know everybody's gonna come out just to see what's going on. I love going in these small towns. The people are born here and they never ever leave. In tiny towns like this, furniture just gets passed down from generation to generation. So I'm hoping to score some old pieces with a lot of character. I'm excited about Ponder because we're looking for high end. Earlier this week, Mary bought a lock. I sold it $600 right here on the front. He thinks it's not high-end enough, but I think it's super cool. So moving this stuff really hasn't been top priority on my list. I know, I get too excited about rummaging and trash. You gotta steer me in the right direction. I though. gotta ride you like a horse to hold you straight. Ew, Mo. <laughs> you know, rumor has it that this small town hasn't had an auction in almost three years. It's a town event. So if I want a locker today, I'm going to have to bid quietly and fly in underneath their radar. We just need a small unit today. The shelves at the warehouse are filled to the gills, so it's all about quality today, not quantity. Good Lord. The whole town is out here. Anytime you come to a small town like Ponder, if you draw attention to any little thing, they pounce on it, and they're like zombies. And they just eat you up. Eat your brains. Boys and girls, here are the rules for today's auction. You're gonna have five minutes to look around. There'll be no stepping inside, no reaching inside, no kicking the boxes. Today's auction is a cash-only sale. Are you ready to go? Yeah! Timer up, let's go! The lawnmower probably runs because they'd folded it yeah, up to store it. Yeah. yeah. And they're just standing toolbox. I see tools, I see a gun cabinet, I even see me one of them singing basses that hang on the wall. This is a whole hunting lodge. This is grandpa's locker. I want grandma's locker. This is over $1,000 right off the bat. People see a hint of tools in here, and it's going to go crazy. These tools are run-of-the-mill garden variety. Not worth my time. What about the bar stool back there, Mo? No, you can't sell one bar stool. I know there might be more. Do you see any? No. Nice stuff, but nothing high-end. I'm really trying to focus on high-end stuff, but it's hard to pass up potential treasure. All right, let's have a little big share in here. Might want to get one thousand. One thousand now, eleven hundred. Yeah! Now twelve hundred in the back. Twelve now, thirteen. Yeah! Now fourteen hundred in the back. Yeah! Fifteen hundred now, sixteen hundred in the back. Golly, those ponder, ponder. Or ponders, ponders, whatever you say it. They dang sure came out to play today.
This locker's so good, it doesn't matter that our warehouse is full. I'll sell the damn stuff in the parking lot. Look at that big angle, Gurney. Ooh, yeah. That's worth some money right there. I know. Don't let everybody know about that. With everyone in town here today, the last thing we need is Ricky drawing attention to the good lockers. This is the kind of locker where I'm like, what is this stuff? I think that's for changing your tire. I think that's for a motorcycle. So hold it out. I do see that spring or front end sitting right there, and uh, it is valuable. Hopefully a lot of people don't know that. There are so many people here, you know, I can't even look at the spring or front end. If I want this locker, I'm going to have to keep a low profile. Vic looks like he likes it. He's doing this. He's still looking in there. Or maybe he's looking at like, some girl's butt. I don't know. Uh, there, there's there's this Mike table that you can't sell it, not for upscale. No one buys it. Really? He doesn't think it's high end. That's two lockers now with nothing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 200 here. 200 now, 300 now, 3, 3 now, 400, 400 now, 500. Yeah! Six, 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 I can't even see who I'm bidding against. It's like children of the corn. You know, keeping quiet and trying to blend in with the locals here really worked. I stole that unit. I got to take a look at this motorcycle unit right now. Who knows? Maybe there's enough parts for a whole bike in there. Well, we all know why I bought this locker, and it was for the Springer motorcycle front end right here. If you're building an old-school-style motorcycle, this is the front end that you want to have on there. Angle grinder. These are pretty expensive. That's 100 bucks used all day. Well, here's some more parts to the bike right here sticking out in front. Well, this is obviously to a V-twin motorcycle. This has to go in my to-be-checked-out pile. And getting down to it, this is a set of cruise bars for a motorcycle. They set up in front of the frame and when you're going if you go up here when you're cruising fifty dollar piece let's see what else we got in here Unexpected, nobody's seen them. There's oh. a set of rally wheels. I wonder if the center caps are in there. Ah I knew I spotted them. There you go. Original rally wheels, end caps, Corvette 69 Chevelle. Beautiful stuff. 150 bucks a piece. And there's two of them. Basically, right now, this whole locker is riding on you, baby. You know, I don't build bikes from the ground up, but luckily, I know just the guy to bring this to. Oh. 
pretty nice bar stools. Nice job site toolbox. Yeah, it's a real nice toolbox. You know what that shipping container is for, don't you? It's for shipping semen. It's worth a lot of money. I don't really know why Ricky knows so much about semen, but that's cool. We got one, two, three, four bikes. This is the last locker of the day. Antiques and collectibles that I had hoped for. Maybe I'll have to think twice before I come back to ponder. We didn't get what we were looking for today. At least we'll have that other locker. Yeah. Mo and I bought this unit the other day. It was filled with file cabinets and documents. It's totally a secret agent's locker. Let's go check it out. We called in the troop to help us with the two lockers we bought. All right. Look inside. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. 40 bucks right there. Engine stand, hundred dollar bill. There's seventy five bucks. We got a freezer. <laughs> Is something in there? Don't puke on me. Uh, Don't open the free freezer. No. Don't open it. It's not bad, but I just didn't want to smell that. Fifty bucks. We paid $1,900 for this unit, so we got to do a hell of a lot better than a musty old freezer. Woo! Those are all American tools, Bubba. I'm going to say $1,200 plus the toolbox. Well, that's a lick. OK, we got to finish loading. We still have to go to the other unit. I know. OK. Here we are. We're finally back at the locker Mo and I bought the other day. All right. I know we're going to find all the secret CIA stuff, like binoculars and suicide pills. <laughs> well, in one of those, I know there's a document. <laughs> Okay. Mo, I'm feeling there's something in here. You're feeling it? Yep. Work orders from 2004. Mo, it's not going to just be obvious. Okay. <laughs> this looks like a great table. Careful. Okay. This is mid <laughs> this is mid-century. It's got good legs. It just needs to be painted, that's all. We could sell this for $375. That's cool, but where's all this buy stuff? Okay, Tarzan. <laughs> so we're back at the locker, we paid a thousand bucks. We almost tripled our money on the first locker. Let's see if the second one lives up to the hype. Steam back. That's a hundred dollar bill right there. Brand new box of surge protectors. How many's in there? Fifty. And they're fifteen dollars a piece. That's right. And this is why I bought this unit right here. This is to transport bull semen. So what, does the bull go in a little room and look at pictures of cows? Well, I definitely want to see what that's worth. OK. What the who you got there? This is Bucky. Reckon they carried some of his stuff in there? Possibly. That's a pretty nice little bike. 75 bucks. 20 bucks on the dog carrier. There's 75 bucks. Probably 40 bucks on that one. 75 bucks. Oh, you know what that is? That's a brander. That is a branded iron. And that's a branded iron right there. And this is the mofo of branded iron right there. Initiation later today. Let's get this checked out when we go check out that semen carrier. Yeah, Sawzall. 
75. And then we get to the toolbox. 150 bucks. Yeah. Bronc riding spurs, 75 bucks. This is for saddle bronc riding, a couple hundred bucks. Here's a bareback riding rig, $150. All right, here we go. 20 bucks. Calf rope and head, 50 bucks. Bar stool, $30. Light switches. Brand new. Three apiece. So that's $300 on that box right there. 16 boxes, 300 bucks. All new. $600 right there. <laughs> and more. 150 bucks. Here's more. 250 there. 300 bucks on that one. Woo! We knocked it out of the park in Ponder. We're up over 12 grand. The time we get the semen tank and the Brandon ours checked out, there's no telling how big a load we'll have. I'll never see another poor day. I found a Springer front end and a couple other motorcycle pieces in my locker. So I'm taking all this stuff to motorcycle expert Rick Farrellis. Last time I was here, things didn't go too well. What do you think? It's a Chinese scooter. They make 50 million of these things. It's like a disposable cigarette lighter. Oh. Hand me that, Victor. Let me look at that. Okay. You've got an engine guard here. I thought they called them cruise bars. It's called an engine guard, you know. Okay. What do you think it's worth? Oh, Victor, it's not worth a whole lot. Everybody pulls these off to make their bike look cooler. You can see I got a million of them. This thing's probably worth 20 bucks or so. This is the interesting piece here, Victor. This is called a Thunderheader. This is a very expensive exhaust system. The problem is somebody took a chrome Thunderheader and they hosed it black with spray cans. Is it possible we could take this paint off and re-chrome it? No. You, it, there's no chrome shop in the country that will re-chrome exhaust. The only thing you can do really is paint it black like it was and uh, uh oh the voice of doom. Yes ma'am. Yes, yes. Oh ma this is my friend Vic. Vic this is my ma. Hi mom how are you? Are you from Vic? I'm from New York. He's got these parts that he's trying to sell, so I'm looking at him and telling him exactly what he's got and what it's worth. He's got a pile of crap. That's what he's got. Get rid of him. Make okay. my life okay. easy. Okay, Mom. Take that... New York City. Thanks, Ma. Sorry about that. She's very outspoken. What do you say this is worth then today? You'd be good if you get a hundred bucks. Okay. Well, Rick, you know, this is the reason why I bought the locker. Well, let me look at it, Victor. Make sure it's not a Chinese repop. And you know what? It's not a Chinese repop. Okay. It looks like original equipment. This particular front end looks like it's off a uh, mid-1990s model called the Bad Boy. Oh, okay. They're popular because they're cool. Well, what do you think the value would be on that? Probably, you know, if you want to do a quick sale, 400 bucks. I knew these parts had some value. I just paid too much for the locker. 
At least I didn't get spanked like last time. Good to see you as Good always. Good to see you, man. Thank you. Mary and I found this very old typewriter with Ben Franklin's picture on it. So we're at best services to get this thing checked out. Anything associated with Franklin has got to be worth at least a $100 bill. Hi. I've read about these. I've never touched one. We uh, found this in a locker, and we want to know a little bit more about it. Well, this was designed probably 20 years into the production of typewriters in America. But, you know, this keyboard being rounded like this, can you imagine typing? Here, try it. See, see what it feels like. That's just awkward. <laughs> it was somewhat of a flop. But that makes it good for collectors. It did make a lot of numbers. So did Benjamin Franklin make it? No, actually, he was already dead. Uh, oh. We've we been past his time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look with me, see if we can figure out if all the parts are here. Your carrier is out of position. It's been jarred or knocked or dropped or something. I don't know how that could have happened. <laughs> that can be fixed. All right. What would you say it's worth as is? It's going to be $1,000. Good to meet you. Step, whatever. This thing's much more cool. Bubba and I found some branding irons and a bull semen carrier. So I'm at my friend's vet clinic right here in good old Yaluville Lamb Passes to get them checked out. Very nice. So what you got here are some electrical branding irons. What kind of animals are you bringing with these? Mostly you'd be doing cattle. Yeah, you can get pretty creative. Okay. I need an R for Ricky. We can make this happen today, Ricky. <laughs> well, let's don't do that. What kind of dollar amount are we looking for the whole lot? For all of them together? Yeah. Yes. I would say, uh, $550. Oh, that's great. More than I thought. No, I've got a little surprise for you here. Oh, yeah. We call them mushroom shippers just because of the shape. We're talking about shipping... Semen. So are they just trying to be funny when they shaped it and called it the mushroom shipper. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> what? Everyone was thinking it. Right? Is it like a lot of bulls or one bull? No, they have straws or ampules, and there can be as many as um, 250 straws in there. Oh, okay. It's not just open this up and fill it up. Well, the inside there have a little bit of foam in there to keep it insulated, and then inside that is going to be the tank. That's All right, let's see if at. it's in there. All right. You got the foam in there, but no tank. Better than nothing. Well, what's this worth? I think you could easily get 250. We can take that to the bank. You bet. The sperm bank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
The runaway winners in Ponder were Ricky and Bubba, who came out ten grand ahead with their two big units and semen shipper. Mary and Mo scored eight Benjamins with their antique typewriter. Victor Rishnansky rode off with 120 bucks from motorcycle parts. But Jenny Grumble struck out and left no fonder of ponder. I'm thinking we just hit the mother load right here. That's a mother load bunch of clothes. Porcelain dolls. Oh, she is sad. <laughs> How sad could a doll look? About that sad. That's an ugly baby right there. That is one sad. <laughs> She's pissed. She'd scare the buzzards off a gut wagon. <laughs> <laughs>